Before I get on to this video, uh, I mentioned in a previous video that I bought a Q-Tech and was waiting for it to come in the mail, and it did come, and I played with it all Thursday night, and uh, I shot balls with it by myself for about two hours, and then I matched up with a very good local player and beat him two sets with it. Um, it took a while to adjust from the cues that I'm using currently to Q-Tech, which is just completely different. And the thing, I, I found my, I was doing a review late Thursday night and staying late after the competition took off. And I started doing this review and I realized that the things I wasn't happy with are just personal preferences of what I like. There's the box right down there. You can probably see it on camera. Um, it's different. Um, this Veltex grip here, I thought this was spongy. I've never played with a Q-Tech before Thursday. And I thought this was a spongy kind of substance, and it's not. It's very, very, very slippery like silk. It's even worse than Irish linen, which I don't like. I need something to grab my hand as I'm trying to find the sweet spot on the butt. Um, it's 21 ounces when I'm used to shooting with. 17 or 18 ounce cues. Um, I took this, but I didn't know it was 21 ounces when I bought it, and that's just my fault. So I found myself holding the cue and shooting with the cue with my hand all the way back here um, because it's just not balanced for my liking. So I took this rubber bumper off and I took that out, and there's a tiny little hole in this. There's a black ring at, at the bottom. You see a black ring going around the, the bottom of the cube? Well, that's some kind of plastic or fiberglass piece that goes inside the cube. So it's actually bigger than just that ring right there. I don't know if any kind of tool fits down into that hole. I haven't gotten that far yet. Um, so I just stuck the bumper on and and resumed playing with it. Um, it's eye-catching. It's very white, and that includes the, uh, the shaft, which is right here. And this is a uh, fiberglass wrapping on a maple hardwood shaft. I think it's Canadian maple. Um, so if you took this fiberglass off, you put it on a machine and turn it and took the fight you'd have a wooden shaft. But this uh, this fiberglass is supposed to keep it straight and keep it from nicking if you bang it on something which you you're gonna do eventually. Unless you really baby the hell out of it. The diameter of the shaft is 13 millimeters when I'm used to 12 millimeters or anything from 12 to 12 and a half millimeters. So it feels fat as hell, but I can adjust to that real quick. 
The tip I love. Um, the first shot I shot with this, and I can tell everything about a shaft by the way it draws the cubo. Now it, it it it's a deluxe tip, which I never used, um, but it does grab the cue ball good, and it needed a little bit of reshaping. Um, once I reshaped it, um, I'm I'm very confident with both the shaft and the tip. Um, so. I'm going to see if I can take this weight out, if there even is a weight in there. I don't, I don't think there is. Um, I got to poke around on the internet and find out. Um, I'm just going to get one of those temporary wraps that you kind of roll on to the butt of the queue and then unroll it onto the wrap and that'll help me grip it. Um, I might just get, uh, Joe up in northern Tennessee. What's Joe's last name? Joe Blackburn, one of the one of the premier Q guys in the country. Uh, I'm gonna see if he can um, you take this crap off and uh, wrap it in leather or some something more more apt to grip my hand. Um. And I'm going to see if oh, this came with one joint protector. It didn't come with two. I'm going to see if you can take this pin out. Drill a hole down in there. If, if there's a weight on here. I don't want to make it more heavy than 21 ounces. See, 21 ounces. It feels like I could. It is just too heavy for me. Um, so if I can unweight it. Or lighten it up. I want to see if you can put a weight down in the top of the butt to front weight it, which is something I've been meaning to do to my other cues. I'm still in the cue market. Um, anyway, I'm happy with it. I played good with it. My opponent played a little bit under his game, and my game, my game. Kind of came alive. Um, I didn't miss a ball for a couple hours there. So that's that's uh, that kind of a half-ass review. I don't want to hold something against a cue that's just nothing but my personal preference. If there was something wrong with the cue, uh, I would tell you. Another thing is uh, this makes kind of a, when you hit the ball center ball and you hit that sweet spot like golfing golfing golfers are always talking about hitting the sweet spot it makes this kind of pinging sound that's obviously caused by the fiberglass but you know it's not an obnoxious sound it's just kind of different so that might take your ears a little while to get used to um, but that's you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, there's, there's the stick is is great, um, and I got it at a great price, and I like it. And I'm sure um, yeah, I need a little bit more of adjusting with it and customizing it a little bit more to my liking. But it might wind up being my uh, everyday favorite cue that I'm using to poke away with. <laughs>